Okay, now we will move on and to our speaker for the evening. Our first speaker um, is John Morris. And he says, why, 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 why would you spend $25 to attend a virtual one week event hosted by Toastmasters International, concluding with a 2021 World Championship of Public Speaking. Most of you probably didn't. Our next first speaker, distinguished Toastmaster John Morris did, and here is why. The title of his speech is, Did You Miss Anything? Now unmute yourself and give our next first speaker, John Morse, a huge, robust, sustaining, foot-stomping, table-pounding, and round of applause. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Oh, you're going to be great. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Shirley Rowell, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Okay, you can mute everybody. <laughs> $25, here it is, take a look at it. $25, what will it buy you today? Won't buy you a dinner for two at any restaurant I know of. It won't fill up your tank with gas, maybe only about a third of a tank of gas. It won't buy you a ticket at a movie theater, particularly if you want any popcorn and soda. It won't do very much except that it would allow you to participate in Toastmasters International 2021 International Convention. I know that people say time. I just didn't have the time. By golly, I'd like to go, I'd like to participate, I'd like to be part of this event. I didn't have time. Well, here's the news. The Toastmasters Convention was online and on demand. What does that mean? You could listen to it at any time you want. Every single event, every single speaker, every single time a person stood up, it was recorded, it was on demand, and you could listen to it whenever you had the time to do so. So, money, time, I say hogwash. And this is something of what you missed. I'm gonna use some notes because I can't always recollect all the names of the people. It started out with a keynote address. The person who gave the keynote address was Robin Benincasa, a name I didn't recognize. However, she was an extreme sports champion. She was a firefighter from San Diego, California, and her presentation was really very remarkable because not only did she talk about how she got to where she went and how she achieved the results she wanted to, but it also included many, many, many videos of her and her team experiencing extreme sports. The second great event that I participated in, I used the word great, but probably certainly very educational, it was that person who won the, the Toastmasters Golden Gavel Award. The Golden Gavel Award is given out every year to a person not a Toastmaster who does something and motivates people to the extent that she has, be, pardon me, become world well known. And that person this year was Liz Paviakas. And Liv Paviakas is also a name I didn't know beforehand. She had a remarkable story about how she overcame child abuse and sexual abuse and reached the top in her field, motivating people all around the world. It was so stunning. And for women who say that speaking is a male-dominated field, you should watch these two women because they reached the very top of the ladder, the very top of success. They were just that good. We went from there to a number of educational sessions. They gave educational sessions on both self-improvement, leadership skills, and 
and also public speaking. I sort of concentrated on the public speaking section and I'll get back to that in a few minutes. We also went from that to the championship of the World Championship of Public Speaking. 40 people contested in semifinal rounds. They narrowed the, that entire field down to eight and eight people contested there. The winner, of course, Verity Price. Yes, another woman reached the top and she was the only woman to be in that class of eight people competing to become world champion of public speaking. What a glorious speech she gave too. She did one of the things she did that was always and always in my mind is very remarkable is that she gave a speech about herself, but she did not make herself the hero of the story. Storytellers always say, never make yourself the hero of the story. And when you hear her speech, you'll know why she did it and what she did. The, after that, we had election and installation of officers. And I want to comment on that for just a minute because I am so absolutely proud of the fact that we installed Matt, uh, Oh gosh, and his last name is Casey. Kinsey, a Kinsey. Friend of ours from District 47. And he's I've known him for all these years. I wish I wish I didn't have such a blank space in my brain, but you know what? That happened. Matt Kinsey. He is John here. Matt Kinsey. Matt Kinsey. And I know that I I, I know absolutely that uh Brenda Alaco was familiar with Matt, knew Matt. I know that he was such an influence throughout the period of time that District 47 developed after we split the two divisions. And he's been a friend of ours for many, many, many years. I applaud Matt. He is a terrific person. He was, he's just going to be a wonderful president for Toastmasters International. Now, why become a part of the convention? Why do it? Why do you spend your time there? You can spend your time doing anything else. Well, I suggest to you, you shouldn't spend your time there. Not unless you become and want to become a better speaker. Not unless you want to become a better leader. Not unless you want to improve what you're doing now, not unless you're willing to accept the challenge that Toastmasters affords you. Next year, when the opportunity comes around, I suggest to you, don't pass it up. Next year's international convention will be held in Nashville, Tennessee, and it will be both hybrid and in person. Plan on attending. I urge you, plan on attending. Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Woodrow. Now let me talk a little bit about John Morse. When I hear John talk, he is lively. He is enthusiastic. His stories kind of mesmerize me. I think John, could tell a wonderful story about a telephone book, and I'd be interested. He doesn't have to sing the telephone book. He just has to tell the story of a telephone book. John starts off his story with something I like very much, and that's money. And when you hold $25 or even 25 cents, you gain my attention. There's different ways to get people's attention. One, you can talk about an important event, uh, the, but the best way is a story. And I think that's where John was going. John told us about Toastmasters event. Did you miss anything? Again, he starts off with the money, but then he opens after the opening to a part of the story that puts all this information into the story about why 
that $25 is so worthwhile. The, the, the first is the extreme sports, the golden gavel. John, if you put a little more emphasis on that, I, I, I probably would have fell out of my chair. It was, it was great. And then women speaking, your enthusiasm <laughs> just captivates me. Uh, he talks, uh, uh, he, John adds more with, without even any props, John can grab your attention. He talked a bit about the convention itself. Why does it make you a better person? Well, and then he gives a number of reasons why it makes you a better person. So he does the opening body and conclusion in a tremendous way, again, that captures my attention. Why become a better speaker? Why are we paying $25? Well, I was always wondering, but John told me why. You become a better speaker. You become a better leader. You become better, right? And you get the use of Toastmasters. And John's point, which I think was great, is just being a Toastmaster. Being a Toastmaster is, it, it can change your life. You can walk up in any speaking role. You can pick up any speaking role at work, at home, I just had to do a eulogy and I wouldn't have been able to write it under duress in a day without having to do Toastmasters for the last decade, right? And then John ends his speech, of course, with a call of action. And the call of action is he urges us, right? To pay that $25 and join these events. And John, I will have to do that at some point. If I could say anything, you could have had a couple of slides in the background, but as I said, I really can't see anything that I would do different. John, I thank you for your speech.